for a moment the energy within you. You're watching Inart Media. No easy. Yeah. You see, I just took all the problems, the suffering of the people, and then make a song of it. You left your country, it's so sick. I was kind of doing experimental films before I started doing this. They were more geared towards gallery spaces, and uh, I've actually been really moved by the uh, this experience of documentary films. Well, um, of course. Um, it is very important to me because um, I think uh, we are trying to teach people that war is not the answer. You know, we should accept peace. Let us forget about war. People who've never been to Africa or through the third world are really struck um, with the approach to the to the movie. Um, because we had a really intimate relationship with the subject matters, and I think instead of taking like a really wide-angle look on, at, at the Civil War and what was happening, we chose to, to focus really closely on, on this group of people and, and the bonds that they have. The film tells about our story, our personal stories. Foundation, a great foundation to our progress. You know, I've had people say, you know, it changed, it changed my attitude of what a victim of war is. We were first-time filmmakers, so <laughs> we just... There's so many different things. I mean, one of the things we had going for us, I think, is the naivete into what it takes to do something like this. And we kind of Makes me feel proud. Uh, we got logistical support from uh, the UN, someone from the UN. We were really trying to ask questions about what would it be like to film within uh, the refugee camps. And it was met with an incredible amount of enthusiasm by this one individual who convinced us to buy plane tickets and then you know having been through what we went through on the first trip you know we were there our heart we really knew we needed to make this and then you I was really eager to go back to my country because I love my, my children passionately but I'm so happy that uh, I am uh, united with them right now I'm staying with them so the biggest obstacles are, are are actually sticking with it because you know we didn't have funding in the beginning and you you just had this life-changing experience and you know that you want to do this and see it through. But I think really just kind of waking up in the morning on those kind of weeks and months where everything's kind of slowing down you can't see where your project is going it, those are the hardest we're, times. And we were called like a musical mission of the UNHCR everyone on the production team is musicians so we were kind of sponsored to, to be there and perform and as well. When we came back, uh, we cut a trailer together and uh, we got a fiscal sponsor. And it was really slow going, you know, individual donations. We had a couple celebrities early on who were kind of moved by this nine minute piece that we put together, uh, who gave us enough to keep going. And then uh, after the second round of production, we had more of a rough cut. We did get some funding. We got the Sundance Doc Fund and uh, Pacific Pioneer Fund, Rex Foundation. Uh, it was a really intense experience. Um, there was a lot of fear going into it, um, and yet at the same time, going through the process of them connecting with people who they thought had died during the war, uh, reconnecting with their country, their culture, it was a phenomenal experience. It's kind of, it's amazing. Let me say it's like a miracle to me. It's really not easy.